We are back with some more Panthers franchise, and we have just wrapped up the draft. I just finished my training camp, which is a pain doing the training camp mini games sometimes because they can just be so mind numbing and just the same thing over and over and over. But we got them all done, which is great. Our defense is sitting at a 91 overall, which is just insane. I'd love to see that. Um, that's a big step up in the right direction, but the draft is over. We only had four picks and um, Couldn't really do anything too crazy with them. Our first round pick was a major dub It was pretty much the guy I was hoping got to me JC Latham. He's a star dev 76 overall. He will be our new starting right tackle and um, This was a big pick. I'm very happy that we were able to get him at 18 I was hoping, you know, a lot of the skilled position players went, which it did. We had some quarterbacks, um, a ton of receivers went, tight end, you know, a couple. Then the tackle started going at like later at the like 9, 10, 11 range. And then JC made it all the way to us at the first round pick, which was a major dub. Our fifth round pick, which was our next pick, we just got some wide receiver depth. We went and got Trey Harris out of Ole Miss. He will be on the team just as a depth guy, you know, who'll probably never see the field. Um, our sixth and seventh rounders are straight bums. They are just backups, and they were the best ones that I could find in the sixth and seventh round. So we have Brandon Blake out of USC, 58 overall, and we have Terrell Taylor, 57 overall, out of Alabama. Hopefully we never have to use these guys. If we do, we could be in a bad spot. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. There is the free agent draft that's going to be happening here soon. So maybe, just maybe, I'll be able... I have $2 million to spend. So I could potentially sign a vet just as a backup in case one of those guys gets hurt. Like I said, I only got $2 mil, so I'd be working in you know somewhere around this range. It might even be worth getting one of these guys just as a you know low 70s, high 60s. Just to have a decent d defensive end backup. So we'll see when it comes around to my um, pick. But that is that for the draft. I mean, it's very simple. I wasn't able to go in to record it. Um, we had I just had stuff going on. I was able to attend the draft, thankfully. But just wasn't able to record it live. So there's the draft. Only got four picks. One will see the field every snap. The other three probably will never see the field unless a bunch of injuries happen. Um we're at 53, so here is the roster headed into the season unless something crazy happens or I sign a free agent. Like I said, um, might sign a free agent, but offensively, everything's the new. We got JC at right tackle. We got Marquise Brown at wide receiver. Other than that, everything's pretty much as last season. Oh, and James Cook. So um, two new skilled position players and a new right tackle. Everything else the exact same defensively. We are going to be rolling out Jadavian Clowney as the starter. We're going to see how that do, how that does first. Um, Jeremy Chin, Jimmy Robinson staying our safety duo. Brian Burns is on the other side. We got Jason in the middle along with Dre Greenlaw. And then cornerback wise, everything's the same except our fourth corner is now Staten instead of Dante Jackson. Defensive line, the backups are different, and we got Mr. Hamilton here at the other interior spot. Special teams, I'm just throwing James Cook at punt returner, kick returner. We'll just see. I'm tired of fumbling. Calvin Austin was a pretty good returner. He had a couple kick returns last season, but he fumbled. He fumbled like three or four times, and I just am over that. I'm over that. So James Cook, he's my backup running back, so I'm not too, you know, I'm, I'm okay with throwing him out there. Specialist packages, we got Elijah Moore in the slot. Brees is still going to be the main guy. We got Dion on the right with Brian on the left. Marcus Jones in the slot. Jason Andreas, sub linebackers, and our rush defensive tackles, Derek Brown and Hamilton. So that will be the team we take into our final season here in this Madden with the Carolina Panthers. Hopefully we can have a special run. Um, it's a quick video, very quick video. Before I finish it, though, I'm going to show you guys the schedule. Um, we started off with the Minnesota Vikings who demolished us, but then he went on a massive losing streak, and if we would have won our final game, we would have made the playoffs. So that's just crazy in itself. Um, but uh, we started off at two games at home, which is nice. We play the Vikings, then the Tennessee Titans. Then we go on a three-game road trip versus the 49ers, the Buccaneers, and the Eagles. Come home against the Commanders, and then a very early bye week followed by three home games. Um, four home games in a row, which is kind of crazy. Saints, Patriots, Cowboys, Saints. This this six-week stretch here is very tough, okay? You have the Saints who just made the Super Bowl, so we play them twice in four weeks. 
The Cowboys, I believe, made the playoffs. If not, I don't think he made the playoffs last season, but he's made the playoffs every single season. Patriots is a tough user. And then you follow up the Falcons, who swept us last season, and then the Super Bowl winners. So this six-week stretch could define the season. I mean, right here, we got to somehow maybe go 4-2 and two in that. I'll, I would even take 3-3. Three and three. Okay? It's some tough, tough, tough games in there. Then we go Bucks, Jags, Texans, Falcons, Giants. So... Pretty difficult in that middle part. Um, a lot of playoff teams, a lot of Super Bowl contender teams. So we'll have to see. I'm just hoping for a better season. We're rocking same defensive playbook. Um, offensive playbook, I did mess with a little bit. So um, there's some new stuff in there. But for the most part, same offensive playbook. Um, tons of new defensive players. Hopefully it works out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. The next video will be week one regular season. And I'll see you guys then.